Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how and where to buy New Balance sneakers in 2021. So this video is definitely going to be a little informal and a little long, so I'll make sure to leave um, chapters in um, the description and the normal timestamps as I usually do. I'm definitely going to break this video up into different sections. Um, there's probably going to be up to like four or five different sections on how and where to buy New Balance sneakers. And uh, yeah, basically in 2021, um, a lot of people um, have gotten into New Balance, especially myself and um, it's not necessarily that easy to find specific sneakers and uh, that's basically because there are a lot of methods to buy New Balance sneakers. There's a lot of places, a lot of different websites, and a lot of different methods to buy New Balance sneakers. Um, so basically, I'm making this video to basically narrow it down to make it a little easier, to make uh, lesser known methods known, and I'll make sure to leave um, links to every site I show in this video in addition to sites I don't show in this video in the description, as well as direct links to some cool New Balance um, sneakers that are available right now as of making this video so you can check them out for yourselves and maybe even buy some pairs. So first off, I'm going to start with the quote-unquote obvious methods of buying New Balance sneakers. The first method is, um, as you can obviously tell, New Balance's official website. Um, to buy sneakers, you could um, check out the New Balance launches section. This will show you all of their launches um, like every other brand does. Um, so far, there are no upcoming launches on NewBalance.com as of recording this video, but um, New Balance uh, tends to organize their, like, according to them, I guess they're like hyped releases. Um, definitely all their limited collaborations, like the Bodega collab and um, the Joe Fresh Goods collab, would appear here, but they unfortunately they aren't in stock right now. But uh, anything that New Balance considers um, kind of like hyped up or new will be in here and um, anything that's in stock will be underneath uh, in stock launches. As you can see, a lot of the new XC72s uh, were released and they consider that to be hyped. It's definitely a new model. You got some 327s, um, you got some of the Kawhis, you got um, I think the Todd Snyder 327s here as well. Um, yeah, that's how you find um, some of the more uh, hyped and new releases directly from New Balance. But um, another way to find them is just simply going to the lifestyle section of New Balance. Um, the New Balance launches section does not um, show every single new release on newbalance.com. Obviously, that would flood up that page. But um, what I like to do is just go to New Balance's lifestyle section and just scroll down, see what's new. Um, check check all these websites weekly. Like You'll never know what pops up. Um, I also recommend following um, uh, New Balance pages like NB Drops on Instagram to see um, uh, information on whenever new New Balance um, silhouettes drop or New Balance releases release. Um, basically, uh, you're 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 not gonna know every time at when every release uh, drops. It's unfortunate. Um, some releases like here the new balance 990 v2 and v3 uh black general release colorways they weren't in the new balance launch page but they do appear in the new balance lifestyle page so let's check this out this is really new um hey it looks like a, a, an entire full size run is still available that's nice only 180 bucks and uh to find this you just um, go to new balance go to men click on lifestyle scroll down find the what you want and boom here it is right there. I know the 990 V3s are really popular right now, and it's nice to see that they have a full-size run on NewBalance.com right now. I'll, I also recommend uh, checking out um, Made in US and UK, this little page. Um, obviously, all their Made in USA and Made in UK uh, shoes will appear here. Um, here, you can choose US or UK. Let's see what uh, NewBalance.com has in terms of Made in USA shoes. Yeah, all the Made in USA shoes will be here, including uh, the sold out pairs. I don't know why they still have them here if they're sold out, but that's that's just be, me being a little nitpicky. Here's a new colorway of the 990v5, also an almost a full size run. Pretty dope colorway. Um, yeah, definitely new. I'm sure um, 
most of you didn't even know this colorway existed um now you do so go cop if you want to and yeah here you got some a bunch of 990 992s sorry oh a new 990 993 colorway in women's yeah i also recommend checking out the women's section too just in case um uh they have some cool women's exclusive colorways obviously if you're a guy you'll have to convert your sizing uh yeah only these women's sizes are left but yeah i didn't know these uh dropped yeah it's what one of the few things i dislike about new balance is how um how little information they give out um in terms of drop info like their instagram page oh my god it's like there's barely anything like it has to be a super hyped up collab in order for new balance lifestyle to even make a post about it otherwise um you'll have to find um other methods of finding as i said before i recommend checking newbalance.com their their launch page and their lifestyle and new made in usa and uk pages um every week to see what's new because as i said there is like no info given out they just randomly drop so next up we have um uh, Google. Um, obviously, you're not going to be uh, buying from Google, but you just Google search what model you want or maybe a collaboration you want. Go to uh, Google's little shopping tab tab, and um, they'll show up uh, various places of, set, let's say I searched up the New Balance 990v2. Um, you'll get a bunch of results of direct links to 990v2s that are in stock from various sources. Here you could get one from Extra Butter. It looks like uh, it's only in size 8.5 or here, here's their size run from Extra Butter and uh, Saks Fifth Avenue. I guess there, here's their size options and other options. It's not the most reliable way, but you can find um, basically anything that's in stock here from various sources by simply Googling and checking out the shopping tab. Uh, secondhand aftermarket stores like Goat, StockX, and eBay. Simply uh, go to their sites or apps, look at New Balance, and um, just see what they have to offer. Obviously, this is the aftermarket, so you'll most likely be paying resale prices. Um, I'll I'll only um, go over this uh, for a short amount of time because obviously, I'm sure most of you clicked on this video to find how to get them for retail, and um, obviously, res everyone wants to avoid uh, paying extra resale money. At here, this this colorway is really popular. I really want this uh, gray multicolor um, colorway. 990v2 um, if you want to buy them new or used on go StockX uh, only sells them new but um, you can see what uh, sizes they are what price what the lowest ass is you can also throw in offers like if you're okay with paying resale I definitely recommend um, putting up offers or bids and hoping that a seller will accept your offer and or bid and hopefully you'll get a good price. But yeah, that's uh, the aftermarket. Um, it's all gonna be resale prices unless the shoe basically bricked and uh, there's like no resale value and maybe you can get them for under retail. Obviously that's great. But uh, for the popular colorways like this 990v2 colorway, you're gonna have to pay a little more on the aftermarket. So next up are all of the foot sites. I'm sure most of you know what Foot Locker is, but um, not all of you might know that Foot Locker is actually the parent company to various um, what we like to call foot sites. Um, that includes uh, Champ Sports, Foot Action, East Bay. The, all of their websites, um, they're owned by the same company and they look almost exactly the same. But um, uh, if you go in store, there's a high chance that um, you're not going to find anything good in terms of New Balances. Like all of my Foot Lockers in person, like it's just it's just Nike, Nike this, Nike that. Um, honestly, they they barely even have any Adidas anymore. I, uh, I guess Adidas isn't that popular anymore. Like the front of the store, it's all Nike and Nike apparel. The back of the store, it's House of Hoops. It's just Jordans and Nike basketball sneakers. And if you're lucky, you'll find like um, part of a wall with some New Balance sneakers. And they'll ba probably barely have any good sizes. But fortunately, their websites like FootLocker.com, ChanceSports.com, they have a great selection of New Balance sneakers. I'm on Foot Locker's site, um, I decided to separate it by gender, in this case men's, and yeah, basically just see what, what's, what's in stock, 
um, from Foot Locker. Um, I know in terms of uh, copying, um, the second they drop, Foot Sites absolutely suck and it's impossible to get them. But in terms of getting stuff that sat on shelves or um, not that limited releases, they're, they have a great selection. And actually, these BB550s, they have a few uh, sizes left. Definitely not the best sizes, my size ain't in stock, but um, yeah, if you're any of these sizes, it looks like they're still in stock on Foot Locker. And let's go ahead and check out Champs, um, go to New Balance obviously, separate by gender, do men's, and yeah, you'll definitely see um, a lot of general release colorways. Uh, it seems like a lot of these 327s are on sale. These are steel prices, man. Only 60 bucks for 327. Definitely a great deal. And yeah, they, they do carry Made in USA sneakers. Uh, wow, looks like the this colorway is in a full-size run on Champs. So definitely cop if you want them. This is a definitely a cool colorway. Very popular too. Surprised it's still sitting on Champs. Um, yeah, basically just scroll down. You never know what you'll find um, in foot sites. This is basically the same thing for all the other websites I'll show you, but um, I basically want to show you like what are your options in terms of buying New Balance. There's a lot of different sources, and I know in 2021 there's barely in any information for New Balance releases and the popular sites like Hypebeast and Nice Kicks will only cover like very limited collabs or new silhouettes otherwise uh, the general release models will fly under the radar and um, basically you just gotta check these all these websites maybe weekly maybe twice a week and see what's there here, this 574, the unending colorway, I think it's criminal how these are sitting on shelves, let alone going for only 70 bucks, and it's like on a full size run. Definitely cop if you have the chance. Like, come on, 70 bucks for this, that's that's an absolute steal. Here's really popular 992 colorway. I have this colorway, I really love this colorway. Also on a full size run. See, these colorways are just sitting here and no one knows about them, so hopefully this video will help you find some really dope uh, GR colorways that are just sitting on shelves on various um, websites. Here, this Jaden Smith collab, I didn't even know they released outside of NewBalance.com, but here they are sitting in a full-size run on Foot Locker. I might pick up one of these. I think it's cool how these are random colorway, like, similar to the Made Responsibly 998s. Um, you don't know what you're gonna get. It's used um, with uh, scrap uh, suede materials that were lying around. You'll get a unique colorway. Definitely a cool um, release. And I didn't know that they released outside of NewBalance.com. They completely sold out on NewBalance.com. But here they are sitting on Foot Locker. So I definitely recommend um, getting these if you have the chance. So in the next section, I'm gonna go over uh, globally sourced sneaker shop sites. Basically sites like End and HBX, which is Hypebeast website, um, they basically pull sneakers and clothing from all over the world and allow you to buy them um, from one website with usually a flat rate shipping cost instead of it being crazy and having to go through uh, currency exchange rates and conversions. And yeah, just go to their New Balance section, check out uh, what shoes they have in stock. Uh, hey, the 530, uh, these, ha these have barely gotten any US releases, and it's nice to see them right here. Only $95. Uh, I know and uh, they seem to use UK sizing. They don't have my size, but if you're any of these sizes, uh, make sure you use the little conversion chart and see if they have your size. See, it's not too bad of a price. Uh, if I bought this like directly from like New Balance's, say, UK site, um, I'd have to pay a dumb amount for shipping and um, the conversion from dollars to pounds as well. But here on end, you just need to pay um, a dollar amount and usually a flat rate shipping cost on top of it so it's not bad here you got some uh, 991s as you can see uh, they are cheaper than if you were to buy from New Balance's website since they are sourced directly from the UK um, more 991s obviously not as expensive as New Balance uh, US's site um, unfortunately I think they are mostly uh, European based um, 
end is and because of that um i guess the trade-off is that any usa made in usa sneakers on end costs more on end as well as another website i'll show you later but uh i definitely don't recommend uh buying made in usa sneakers on end unless uh it's better than resale but uh on end you're gonna be paying um a little bit more than you would on newbalance.com so yeah, and just scroll down, see what various general release colorways they have. Um, even, hey, this Casablanca collab looks like they still have some in stock. Um, I bought these, these 577s. Um, I recently reviewed them like a week ago or two, and I bought them from End. If I bought these, well, they haven't released on New Balance uh, US's site yet, but if these were sold on New Balance's US site, they would most likely cost over $200. But meanwhile, on End, uh, uh, they still have some decent sizes left, only $175 and a flat rate shipping cost on top of it. And there, it's a dope colorway, a general release colorway. Almost no info was given out about it, but you got get it for a good price. And hopefully, you have your they have your sizes, and um, you don't have to pay too much for shipping. Obviously, I'm not going to show you every single uh, globally sourced uh, sneaker shop that's online, but I'll show you a, a few of the ones that I usually check and have personally cop sneakers off. Here's HBX, which is. Um, Hype Beast online sneaker and apparel store. I bought these 725s for, directly from the site. Only a hundred dollars. Um, no import duties or anything. My size is sold out now, but there are a few decent sizes left. Um, scroll down, you get to see some more sneakers that you might have never even seen before if you live in the U.S. Like I said, the recurring motif of this. Uh, of New Balance in 2021 is that there's like no drop info in terms of general releases. It's only like the hype collabs or maybe um, a few special Made in USA or UK colorways. Here's some 530s. Definitely interested in this silhouette. Um, dang, none of my sizes in this colorway. Let's see if this this one, ah, eh, no size, no good sizes left. But if they, if your your size is available, you only you only need to pay 100 bucks and a flat rate shipping cost as well. And another uh, site I like to check is SNS. Um, this is more of a boutique, which I'll get into a bit later, but um, I'm sure most of you are familiar with their drops and their apps. Uh, they also have their website and it's they have all the sneakers that either didn't sell out or general releases. As you can see, they got some 725s, more expensive than HBX. Make sure you try to find, try to use as many sites as possible. I know there's a lot and I'll pr be sure to provide a list of all the sites I use, but um, try to find um, the lowest price as possible. Sometimes the prices vary from site to site. I know SNS is like, um, uh, I think they're European based and some of their, the USA sneakers might cost more or yeah, they just might cost more than let's say other globally sourced um, sneaker stores. Um, I don't know. Some of the it looks like uh, their USA sneakers seem pretty normal, except for maybe this one. I don't know why it's two hundred bucks. Uh, their UK sneakers are cost the same, like uh, from NewBalance.com, their US US site. But yeah, SNS is another great option. Here's their uh, two thirty seven collab. I didn't know these sat. Oh, wow, full size run. Looks like uh, these just sat on shelves. I thought I thought these were pretty cool. I didn't cop, but the snake skin's pretty cool. Um, let's see. I guess the last site would be Nice Kicks. I'm sure you guys know what Nice Kicks is. I'm not too sure if this is globally sourced, but um, it's definitely another site to consider. Their selection isn't too big compared to HBX or End or SNS, but yeah, you got some made in UK shoes left here. Hey, my size is still here, but. 230 bucks, uh, you might be able to find better prices somewhere else. Got even more general releases, some Made in USA shoes. Um, oh wow, look at these. 998s with like some crocodile skin, it's on sale too. Some some decent sizes left, only $151, um, definitely a steal price. This is definitely a, an interesting um, colorway. Uh, as I said, um, uh, hopefully I'm showing you stuff you never knew even existed or you never knew where to look. You might find some cool stuff like this. Here's here's a 997. Uh, not not too many good sizes left in that 997, but yeah, you got some Made in USA shoes just sitting here for below retail. So yeah, Nice Kicks, SNS, 
HBX, and um, these are also some great uh, some great sites to check out. The prices will vary, but they are globally sourced, so you're not paying too much for shipping, and you don't have to go through any conversions or anything crazy like that. All right, so next up, I'm going to go over just some general examples of uh, skate shops and luxury department stores. So first off, we have Premier. It's primarily a skate shop, but obviously all skate shops sell skate shoes. But Premier and some other skate shops, I'm not too familiar with skate shops, but um, a lot of people in the New Balance community cop from Premier. And they have more than just New Balance numerics. As you can see, they have um, Main UK shoes, Main US shoes they even have some uh, version series sitting here but they're in pretty small sizes um, yeah premier skate shop they have a good selection of New Balance uh, general release colorways um, if you know any skate other skate shops that carry um, more than skate shoes please leave them down in the comments um, yeah skate shops are definitely another thing that most people wouldn't think of to find uh, New Balance made series and other cool GRs but yeah it's an option and another option are luxury department stores like Nordstrom and Saks Fifth Avenue. Saks Fifth Avenue actually has um, a lot of good general release uh, New Balances, Main USA, Main UK, and uh, their Asian made pairs do. A lot of good 327s, um, you can check their sizings. Uh, they do a lot of pre-orders too. Um, Saks Fifth Avenue is a definite must to add to your New Balance shopping locations. Um, they have pre-orders for like Made in USA and UK shoes, and um, yeah, and yeah, they usually fly under the radar because most uh, New Balance heads don't really check Saks Fifth Avenue, but they have pre-orders for some of their the limited um, Made in USA and UK colorways, which is nice. And here we have a pair of 992s. Um, let's see if they have any good sizes left. And eh, not really, but um, yeah, Saks has a lot of different New Balance shoes in terms of Main USA and Main UK general release colorways. All right, so I know um, this video is basically just a big information drop of me talking at you and um, it's just a lot of information coming at you, but that was only the beginning. Now we're gonna go into the various boutiques. Obviously, I have a lot here in my tabs. Um, I'm not gonna show you all of them. I know there are a ton of sneaker boutiques. I'm just gonna show you the ones that I've personally copped from and uh, the popular ones that other people from the New Balance community usually check. So um, I'll try to make this section as short as possible, but this is definitely gonna be the longest section of the video. So in terms of boutiques, you have a ton of options, whether that be um, online or hopefully maybe your city has a boutique. Um, I live in San Diego. I have a blends and a bait. Uh, in my city and I actually managed to cop um, the 990v1 version series from my local blends they sold out everywhere they sold out on newbalance.com but I called um, my local blends uh, to see if they had any stock I went to the store and bought them from the store very simple it's really nice if you have boutiques near you I recommend calling them seeing if they'll they'll have a limited release how they're gonna release it or if they have any pairs in stock it's really nice when you have boutiques um, in your city so first off I'll go over some of the popular boutiques that uh, people know about most most of you I'm sure know about kith um, obviously they have a lot of collaborations with New Balance bodega concepts undefeated Atmos and um, uh, bait. These are like really popular um, throughout the entire like sneakerhead community, not just for New Balances, but yeah, just go to the boutique's website, check out their New Balance section, see what sizes they have in stock. As you can see, uh, these 992s, they have some decent sizes left. Um, the Casablanca XC72 never sold out. Uh, they're sitting on shelves, full size runs for both colorways. And yeah, just scroll down, see if they have anything good left in stock in your size, and uh, just cop from any boutique here. As you can see, the Popsicle colorway and the 990v5 is still in stock. I, I need to get myself this colorway. I think this is a really cool colorway. But uh, so unfortunately, summer's over, so maybe it won't be the best colorway for the fall-winter season. And uh, on kits specifically, um, they actually have this one pair of 
997.5s at the very bottom. It's a hybrid between the 997 and the 998. It's made in USA. It's in the classic gray colorway. It's sitting in a full-size run, but it's also $210. So definitely not the cheapest sneaker. Um, if that's a good price for you, then I definitely recommend copying that the pebbled leather looks so good. You know the suede's going to be great, and it's definitely a cool silhouette. Obviously, gray, you can never have enough gray New Balances sitting in a full-size run. Just a question of whether or not you want to bite the bullet at $210. Dega, um, the same. Just go to the New Balance section, see what general releases they have. These are like the two newest um, Made in UK general releases. Obviously, some of them sold out. Um, just scroll down, see if there's any cool general releases left in your size. Uh, I love this colorway so much. Thankfully, this burgundy yellow colorway seems to be available everywhere. It's just um, you got to see uh, if they still have your size left or if they carry it. And yeah, it's I know it's basically the same thing for all these sections and all these sites, but um, I just want to show you like the boutiques and methods I use. Um, I'm sure you guys know what Concepts is, uh, they they have some New Balance collaborations as well. I think they recently released a 5740 collaboration. And yeah, here here are two um, 990 V3 general release colorways. I just caught these recently. Um, it was off a different boutique, not Concepts, but yeah, they still have some decent sizes left. Definitely a dope colorway, definitely um, good to get it uh, yeah, for retail instead of biting the bullet for the aftermarket resale price. Undefeated, another very popular boutique. Uh, go to New Balance. Let's see what they have. Not too much at Undefeated. Atmos. New Balance. Yeah. The version series unfortunately sold out. Uh, this colorway is really dope too. Unfortunately sold out. Um, but yeah, they got a lot of 5740s still in stock. Uh, at most, it looks like there aren't, there aren't too many, but um, this colorway is like really rare. I don't know if they're going to get a wider release yet, but they've been slowly creeping into boutiques. And um, if you were here earlier, maybe a few days earlier, maybe these will still be in stock and you'd be able to cop. Lapstone and Hammer, um, uh, I, def I definitely recommend copying from. I remember getting two uh, really cool general release colorways here during last Black Friday. Um, from here during a sale and yeah, they still had a decent selection in stock definitely not um, a very popular boutique not be because they're bad But it's because I think they have only like one store in Philadelphia and it's not too popular compared to say kith or undefeated Yeah, you'll find some general releases here Possibly the Casablanca collab still sitting See if this navy collab, navy sorry, not collab, navy colorway is still in stock. A few sizes, but nothing too much. Same with this uh, blue and silver colorway. Asphalt NYC. Um, I I've also copped from here. It's went well. Just as I s keep saying, check out their New Balance section. See if there's any cool general releases still in stock in your size. Um, the gray colorway. These went out pretty fast they these released like a few days ago definitely all their goods their good sizes uh, sold out hey this 990 v2 in the black colorway I copped directly from here this exact colorway looks like it's still sitting in a full-size run definitely recommend copying while you can they have some 990 v4s too oh looks like these are old and yeah not too many sizes 1300s definitely not the most uh, popular uh, main USA model, but they still got some good sizes left in various colorways too. Blends, as I said, uh, they're they're actually here in San Diego, but their website is also pretty good too in terms of New Balances. Just see what more general release colorways. Man, really wish this colorway was in stock. I really need this colorway in a nine and a half. Extra Butter, another great uh, boutique. Let's check out the New Balance section. Yeah, ooh, here, here's this colorway. It's not sold out. Hey, they still have my size. Oh man, maybe I'll cop. But yeah, the 990 V2 in uh, the winterized black and blue colorway. Really cool. Let's see if they have any gray 990 V2s in stock. Nah, not in the good sizes. Maybe if you're a smaller footed guy or woman, um, you can cop, but. 
yeah the gray gray pairs like see it's a gray 990 v2 it's a classic colorway on a classic iconic silhouette i don't know why new balance doesn't um uh bring more attention to it they just drop randomly at random websites it's really hard to find that's what i hope new balance and teddy santis does well sorry not does improves for 2022 next year especially with the 990 v6 coming out i i hope um they release more drop info for various um uh general release colorways like I mean, I, obviously, like, Nike doesn't do that for absolutely all of their sneakers, but a lot of them, like, get attention. They're, like, showing up in the sneakers app. It's not just the limited colorways or the new silhouettes. You'll see general release colorways. A lot of general release colorways show up in the sneakers app or get release info at, at the very least. Uh, Noter or Notre, I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. You still got some pretty cool general release colorways as well. Uh, oneness, let's check out uh, New Balance. Yeah, it's a lot of the same for all these boutiques, just checking them out, seeing if they have your size. Yeah, nothing too much at Oneness. Sneaker Politics, this is where I cop the bread 990 V3 Winterized. Let's see if they have anything new. Uh, hey, there, here's the 990 V2 Winterized. A good size run man I, I i think i'm gonna have to cop and review this is definitely a dope colorway for the winter season um yeah they got a lot of 327s more um main usa shoes a lot of 990 v2s and 992s some older uh main uk shoes as well essence is also really good yeah they got some uh 530s maybe they'll have my size oh man at size 10 probably the closest they'll have yeah these 530s uh definitely a retro silhouette a lot of people are hoping that we'll have some cool colorways um hey th this one's in my size that's cool only under ten dollars essence is a reliable boutique and they'll they might have some cool hidden gems still in stock sunika is also great for new balance they'll have random grs drop on their site um hey i've never seen these before these 574s and these like this all leather colorway definitely interesting um oh a size 10 in the 550 in the michigan colorway definitely a really cool colorway size 13 in the royal colorway yeah more main uk shoes feature very popular vegas uh sneaker boutique Let's see if they're, they have the New Balance Club. I guess featured features a lot of um, uh, luxury brands too. New Balance, let's see. Nothing too much, a lot of 327 GRs. But yeah, maybe they'll have some hidden gems and you'll find something that you'd like. Yeah, you just gotta check all these boutiques. Um, check to see if your size is in stock. Just go to your, the New Balance section, Packer Shoes, uh, some good sizes in these as well and yeah that's that's gonna be it for the boutique section I know that was a lot of info probably not the most entertaining video but I just hope that I can bring light to various methods and uh, websites that you can try to find hidden gems for New Balances. As I keep saying, it's a pain that New Balance doesn't have a lot of information on their general releases. They only care about like the really hyped up collabs or their... Um, their new silhouettes in terms of release info let alone their launch calendar you just gotta check um you just gotta get a lot a list of websites um to check weekly um see if there's anything cool in stock if it's in your size and make sure to cop immediately because um usually if a really um good colorway is in stock on one site um it'll probably get spread across the new balance community across social media and it will sell out so i definitely recommend checking um, the list of sites I have in the description just weekly see if there's anything you like cop anything if you can afford it yeah it's 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 basically just a weekly routine you got to do um, 
uh, lack of release info means that you'll have to put a little bit of work into finding new balances but um, I can tell you it's worth it um, every every post I post on Instagram every video I make on YouTube um, there's gonna be people in the comments asking where I bought it from and um, now I can probably just link them this video uh, or at least the list of, st of sites in the description it's a lot of sites to go through but if you're patient and if you're willing to put in the effort you'll definitely get build up a solid New Balance general release collection hopefully this video helped you I'll try to find um, some direct links to some dope uh, general releases and put them in the description so you guys can maybe cop them but yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be it for this video like and subscribe if you enjoyed follow me on my socials and I'll catch you in the next one